Good morning. Good morning, young ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy to come here. I want to speak about dream and aspiration later. Oh, Mrs. Nagarai, thank you very much for inviting you, me to, 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 to today. <laughs> All right, I'll speak in Japanese from here. Thank you very much. Translate. So I came here yesterday to see you all, and I was deeply moved by what I saw. Why? Because I'm right now 75 years old. And I remembered myself 60 years ago. I was 16. So I was your age. And I went to an English or I participated in an English oratory contest. So I, I was in a speech contest like you are. It was in the south of Japan in a place called Oita Prefecture. So there were 25 uh, participants. I got the third prize. I was impressed very much and I like things very much. From now, from now, from that day, I want to study very hard English conversation. And I'm not. <laughs> So maybe I will speak uh, English sometimes, but my English is kind of old, so I think I'll stick with Japanese for the most part. I'll speak in Japanese now. Yeah. So I'd like to speak to you today about dreams and aspirations. Uh, the Japanese word for aspiration is kokorozashi, and I'll explain that a little bit more to you later on. So in my mind, you all decide how your life's going to go. You decide what you do, and that means you're the president of your life. So I'm speaking to a room full of presidents. So I turned 70 five years ago. And uh, one of my employees in my company uh, made this video for me. So we're going to show you a video that he made for me at, at age 70. So please watch. I speak English. <laughs> I was freshman then. 
I visited uh, Europe four countries uh, five years later. After that, I married and I quit that big company. And I entered a very small company. And every year I hired employees, 20 or 30 persons, and become big. And I became a president many years later. I built the Shanghai factory and also devolution center in Japan. And I sponsored the first Shanghai International Marathon. I am honored with yes. And I retired 25 years old. And triathlon, I finished the world triathlon. Yeah. I'm a second prize, about 70 years old age. I am now teaching uh, this uh, lecture to the uh, junior high school students. I, my company get the uh, second prize of the good, good company in Japan. And I spoke uh, my, uh, my speech. <laughs> it's very fine because I finished. It's a sad, sad. Um, I am now continue, continuing my challenge too. Thank you very much. So, we'll go back to Japanese and English. So, dreams and aspirations really do So, dreams and aspirations really do manifest in reality. However, there are rules, and the rules are very simple. So rule number one, if you don't have a goal, your dream will not come true. Rule number two, rule number two, the higher your aspiration, the higher the result that you create. So you are all the presidents of your lives. And to have your own aspiration, what we call kokorozashi in Japanese, is one of the most important things about being the president of your life. So to have a kokorozashi, to have an aspiration, you first need a concrete goal. That means you have a dream with a deadline. And even more importantly, an aspiration, kokorozashi, is a dream for yourself, for your own satisfaction, plus some kind of contribution that you're making to society. It needs both of those factors. So, as presidents of your lives, there are two more conditions for you to be a proper president. And one of them is that you have to be always looking to the future and changing it. And you also need to be, while looking at the future, taking action toward that future that you want to create. So, in other words, these are the conditions of you being a proper president of your life. You need that vision of the future that we're calling an aspiration, and you need to be taking concrete action toward it. Next, please. <coughs> Koras 
将来の目標に対して具体的に目標を決めてその夢を実現していくことですね。はい。So just as I explained,、uh, the aspiration is a concrete goal or objective with a date. Next, please. 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 You are not a touch of him, Juro Saka, Juva 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 Saka, So let's say that your aspiration is at this angle, let's say 30 degrees right now. But for some people, it might be more like 15 degrees. That's all the difference right now between the angles of your sights. But 10 years later, look how big that difference is. That's what I want to tell you is that even though it looks like a small difference, if you just raise your sights a little bit more, you make a huge difference for yourself 10 years in the future. Next. So I had my first kokorozashi, my first aspiration in my second year of middle school. My homeroom teacher told me this. She said, It's okay to be small, just find the place where you can be on top for you, where you can shine as a leader. So, first I ran for student body president and I was elected. And I did、uh, student body president for one year. It changed me a great deal. Because I learned what it means to be in charge of others. And then my homeroom teacher taught me these words. You see these four、uh, characters, and it reads chicken head, cow tail. How many, if you're Japanese, how many people know this? Okay, somebody explain it to us in English. So, in other words, I was told better than being, rather than being on the bottom in a large organization, find a place where you could be at the top. And that's where my first kokorozashi, my first aspiration,、uh, became clear to me. In the future, I'm going to be, it's, it's okay if it's a small company, but I'm going to be the top, the leader of that company. And I want to be of service to the world. Actually, though, as, it, as I,、uh, you've all seen in the video, I, I didn't do that at first. I graduated university and I entered a large corporation. So I was at the bottom of this huge corporation. And I worked as hard as I could at the bottom and for five years. But I was still at the bottom after those five years. So I quit that huge company. And, and I entered a small company. It was only 40 people. And I worked just as hard as I d worked before. And the company grew larger and larger. And 20 years later, I became the president of that company. 
わずか40人の会社はがその時は1000人の会社になっています。That, 40 year, uh, that company of 40 people became in that time、uh, a company of a thousand. たくさんの人を雇うことによって世の中に貢献したんです。So by hiring many people, I contributed, that was one way that I contributed to the world, to society. 業務から傾向になったんです。So I went from being a cow's tail to a chicken's head. <laughs> 45歳で社長になります。20年経ったんですね。So that was after 20 years I became the president of my company. 私の心は実現しました。That was the realization of my 志 my aspiration. で、また20年社長になって、65歳で引退しました。And then I remained the president for 20 years and then retired. 私の今の志は、皆さんあなたのように、あなたは高校生ですが、今は中学生を中心にこのレクチャーをしています。And my new kokorozashi, my aspiration now is to give lectures like this, teach classes in aspiration to young people like you, although mainly I'm doing it for middle school students. Next. So here's a picture. So I'm giving a lecture to 200 middle school students here. I'm saying, let's have a dream, let's have an aspiration. Okay, give it up for the fantastic rock star chairman of Takeoff Corporation, Mr. Inouye.